six foot hacks, more like six K hacks. LOL. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? And yeah, I actually hit 6,000 subscribers today. So, like I mentioned in my previous upload, uh, thanks to everybody who was showing me support, and hopefully, y'all will continue to do so. But yeah, with that out of the way, I got this pretty good Enya battle that I had against one of my subscribers. Um, I didn't get his YouTube channel, but uh, whenever you see this man, just leave a comment down below and I'll put your channel link in the description. Anyways, uh, looking at threats on his side of the field, uh, Ludicolo is honestly the biggest, biggest problem because after a rain dance, I have nothing on my team that wants to take any two hits from that, so I really have to watch out for it. But seeing that he didn't have a rapid spinner, I decided to lead off with my Golok just to get up my stealth rocks as he ends up leading off with a palace one. And right off the bat, I do get up my rocks as he goes for the icicle crash. And here, um, it's the second turn of the game. There's really no point to predict. And he actually told me that he expected me to bring in my war turtle to take the very obvious ice shard, which honestly should have been the play I should have done because as long as I have Golurk around, Sock can lock himself into the close combat, but I played really stupid with Golurk and it's actually going to pay off for me because I'm going to be able to get the confusion hacks on him. As he does hit himself, I'm going to be able to knock him out with the second dynamic punch. And with Palos Wan gone, that means I don't have to worry about him possibly getting up in Stealth Rocks, which is going to be really good for me. As he brings in his Golurk, I don't want to take a possible Shadow Punch. And even if he does pred predict me to bring in my War Turtle, I should be able to take any hit from this thing, barring the fact that it isn't Choice Banded. As he does go for the Shadow Punch, judging for that damage, and seeing that he has uh, Leftovers, obviously he's not Banded. And look at that, man. War Turtle taking a hit. Oh, God. I love War Turtles. Honestly, I think War Turtle is one of the best Rapid Spinners in NU, so fuck you, Kujo. Anyways, um, knowing that he more than likely would want to switch out, I decided to go for the Toxic as he ends up bringing in the Ludicolo. And the fact that I'm going to be fearing the Giga Drain is way too obvious, so expecting him to go for the Rain Dance, I'm actually going to go for the Scald, which even though, yes it did only do 8% still, any bit of damage on a Ludicolo is really good, especially with a team that cannot take hits from this thing. And expecting him to just go for the Giga Drain or possibly even go for the Ice Beam on the off chance that I do want to bring in Fracture to take the Hydro Pump or Giga Drain, I actually switched directly into my Licky Licky as he does make the safe play and goes for the Giga Drain. Thankfully though, Giga Drain isn't doing entirely too much damage, which means if he does want to keep going for the Giga Drain, eventually this Ludicolo will still die off to the Toxic, so I'm going to protect, take the Hydro Pump and go for the Wish, and he's going to end up dying off to the combination of the Life Orb and Toxic, which is just really great because one of the biggest threats on his team is Adpir as he brings in the Musharna. Because I went for the Wish the previous turn, I know the fact that I want to go for Protect is way too obvious, and knowing that he will want to take advantage of that free turn, I'm actually going to predict him to go for the Calm Mind, and I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail as he does go for it. I Dragon Tail amount to the Sock, which honestly, with most Socks being choiced, I'm going to go for the Protect, see what he wants to lock himself into, as he makes a very good play and brings in the Golurk. I don't know if he's just the bulky offensive set or if he's like a substitute set, so I'm just going to leave in Licky Licky for fodder because with Ludicolo gone, essentially I don't really need my Licky Licky anymore. And he does turn out to be the substitute set, but he actually has the dynamic punch as opposed to the focus punch. And thanks to the fact that I have own tempo, I'm not going to hit myself in confusion and I'm going to be able to get off a wish. So I'm going to pass it off to my war turtle knowing I should be able to take dynamic punches and shadow punches relatively well, judging for how much damage the shadow punch did earlier. As he does go for the shadow punch, I guess maybe he expected me to bring in my Garbodor or maybe my Behem. But honestly, a war turtle is the best switching I have for this Golurk, seeing as as you see there, Dynamic Punch and Shadow Punch are really not doing anything to my War Turtle. So I'm just going to stay and hope that I don't hit myself in Confusion to allow this thing to end up behind a free substitute. And I'm just going to constantly keep going for the Scald. And I actually get pretty lucky by not hitting myself in Confusion as I get off a huge hit with the Scald. After the uh, next Dynamic Punch, I'm not going to hit myself in Confusion again. And I'm going to be able to knock him out with the Torrent Boosted Scald. So. Unfortunately for him, he got unlucky with the confusion hacks at the beginning of the battle, but hey, I never get any hacks, so I don't feel bad when I hack somebody. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he brings in the Musharna, knowing that he more than likely would want to go for like a Calm Mind or a possible Moonlight, I decided just to go straight for the Toxic, as he ends up just taking me out with the Psychic, which really wasn't too bad of a play, just because he more than likely did expect me to have the Haze, which is why he didn't want to use or try to use my War Turtle as Setup Fodder. But with War Turtle gone, if he does somehow turn into my Golurk or my Garbodor and gets up Hazards, I'm not going to be able to get rid of them. And I'm going to bring in my Fracture, which on hindsight, I should have just brought in Behem. Because I'm pretty positive if I brought in Behem, I could have Nasty Potted and set up a Trick Room and just swept through his team. But at the time of the battle, I wasn't thinking that and I switched directly into my Fracture, which this Musharna takes this outrage entirely 
way too good. This is a fracture. Good lord, Musharna, you are too damn bulky. And he's gonna bring in the Ditto, and this is actually the reason why I didn't want to go for a Dragon Dance, because if I had Dragon Danced up, a uh, Fracture, well, his Ditto that turned into my Fracture could have just swept through my team. And at this point, the best thing I have on my team to take a Outrage from a opposing Fracture, I guess you could say, is my Garbodor being max defense, max HP. As I just barely take the hit, I missed the damn gunk shot. Uh, luckily, though, he gets a two turn Outrage, which means he is going to be fearing the fact that he can hit himself in Confusion because, as you saw, he's not really get getting lucky with Confusion hacks. So I'm going to be able to go for another gunk shot on hindsight. Maybe I should have gone for a layer Spikes because honestly, this extra damage on the sock doesn't play a role whatsoever. And knowing that he more than likely will have to lock himself into the Earthquake. This essentially allows me to win the battle because now I can bring him up by him and knowing from prior experience I can easily take an Adamant Choice Bandit Earthquake and live with a good enough HP to be able to still set up a Trick Room and if I did have a Life Orb I would have been able to still take out his remaining two Pokemon. So I take out the Sock with the Psychic as he brings in his Ditto because I am slower than this Ditto I'm going to be able to out slow him and go first. Unfortunately though because I have leftovers as opposed to the Life Orb he barely ends up living but with Licky Licky being such a bulky as Mon I'm going to be able to take the hit and knock him out with the Dragon Tail for the very very narrow 2-0 victory in my favor. So yeah, it was definitely a good and fun game. Um, hopefully y'all guys did enjoy this. Hopefully the, narr the narration wasn't too off. And if you did, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to some more content, do what you want, do what you please. Enjoy the rest of your night, enjoy the rest of your day. And yeah, I am out of here guys. Later.